everybody. Today we're going to be talking about area and perimeter. So there's a couple things you need to know for today. You need to know the formulas for area and perimeter, which are in the bottom of your screen. So area is A equals L times W, which stands for area equals length times width. Whenever we do area, we need to finish off our label with a squared because we're counting the squares inside a rectangle, okay? And for perimeter, the formula is P equals S plus S plus S plus S for all the sides of a rectangle. Now you may have seen formulas that look different for perimeter, L plus L plus W plus W, or maybe you've done P equals two times L plus two times W. In the end, you're kind of doing the same for all of them, but the one I'm going to use today is for the sides. And as always, perimeter is the outside, area is the inside. Let's get started. Let's start with our cubes. Solve the following problems. Use pictures, numbers, or words to show your work. Katie cut a rectangular piece of wrapping paper that was two times as long and three times as wide as the box that she was wrapping. The box was five inches long and four inches wide. What is the perimeter of the wrapping paper that Katie cut? So let's go through first and circle our numbers. I see two, three, five, and four. Then let's find the action words. It was two times, which is my multiply, three times, multiply again, and five inches long and five, four inches wide. What is the perimeter? They want us to find the perimeter of the wrapping paper that Katie cut. Next, I'm going to go through and underline the question. What is the perimeter of the wrapping paper that Katie cut? I'm also going to underline any important information. And I see a couple things. The box was five inches long and four inches wide. It's important to know which number goes where. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my pictures to show my work. So it's a rectangular piece of wrapping paper. So I'm going to draw a rectangle, okay? Now, they're also referencing a box. And so they gave us the numbers for the box, so I'm gonna label this box. It's five inches long, four inches wide, okay? But the wrapping paper is two times as long, so I'm going to do Five times two equals 10. I did that action word. And three times as wide. So I have four times three equals 12. I did that action word. Now I need to know the perimeter of the wrapping paper that Katie cut. So I'm going to take these new numbers that I found by multiplying and find the perimeter. You always start with your formula. P equals S plus S plus S plus S. When you solve algebraic equations, the answers go underneath the formula. We're not going to write over to the sides anywhere, but we're gonna put it right underneath. So my next step is to fill in my sides, and I have two sides that are 12 and two sides that are 10. The formula is asking me to add, so let's do two at a time to make it easy. 12 plus 12 is 24, plus 10 plus 10 is 20. Now all I have to do is add these two numbers together to get 44. And as always, I need my label, inches. They gave me words, and I get, so I need to give them words. And now that I've found the perimeter and can check mark that action word, I'm going to give them words by writing a sentence. 
the perimeter of the wrapping paper was 44 inches. And now I'm done.